What you are about to see is a heading montage. Seriously, this guy kept scoring me header after header after header. So today we're going to be looking at Inform Melito. I was actually surprised I never reviewed this guy because he's in Syria and he plays for Inter Milan. And I don't know, I just really love Melito back in FIFA 11 when Eto was at Inter Milan. Those two up front were deadly. But now we have um, Inform Melito alone. So... How does he play? He's actually pretty cheap on the PS3. He's only going for around 38k, somewhere around there. He has been out for quite a while now, and I was surprised how many of him were on the market. And before I begin the review, if you guys are looking for coins, check out UT Coin Traders. The link will be in the description. And now, Inform Melito, his pace felt around 80 for me. He wasn't too slow nor was he too slow so he felt average and average for me is 80 pace I don't want my strikers to be slower than 80 um, so cheap decent pace and now his dribbling I felt he was really good at dribbling better than what his card stats were showing now his long shots and his shot power were okay nothing too special I tried scoring a couple of long shots with him but I think only one long shot I was able to score so it was really difficult to score uh, long shots with him his shot power is okay as well nothing too uh, special with his long shots or shot power he's an amazing finisher though in the penalty area anything in the penalty area this guy will finish his shot power is good enough for anything in the penalty area but anything outside of it you might struggle so amazing finisher and he has really good strength much better than what his in-game sets were showing and in a couple of clips you will see defenders struggling to get the ball off him and in one of them he actually goes on to score under pressure which is simply amazing his power header is pretty much the highlight of this video you pretty much if you watch this video you will know how overpowered his heading is it's just none of his heading attributes are in the 90s neither is his jumping so it is really really damn powerful I felt his heading was better than Falcao's that's how far I am gonna go and since his finishing is so good it means his finesse shot is really good as well so by far this is my favorite target man in the game let me know who is your favorite target man in the comment section below now two things I did not like about him is he can sometimes be out of position because of his work rates he has high attacking and medium defending so sometimes he isn't in the box when you want to cross it to him but this doesn't happen too frequently and he also has three star skills and three star weak foot meaning he isn't too great when you want to skill or if you want to use his left foot it does feel like a three star weak foot you can score a couple with his left foot but shooting from long range or trying to finish he isn't too great with his left foot but that is pretty much it for this review it, he was a really good player in my opinion it was just so easy to just keep crossing let me tell you something if you love to run down the wing and cross I'd recommend it but if you want more of a skiller or a dribbler or a guy that shoots from distance I don't recommend inform Diego Melito but if you love to run down the wing and cross and 99% of the time it will go in get so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i'd really appreciate a like and also let me know who you want me to review next and as usual guys i really hope you have a very nice day